Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Hello, all students in your surface, which is targeted to the third, second grade, first semester. Our lesson today is from Unit 5. You really need it. Uh, listening and Grammar, Mega Goal 5, prepared and presented by Nora Asafiani. So, I hope all of you enjoy uh, my lesson. Let's start. We will learn today listening for specific information, something about advertisement, and then the grammar and adverb clause on how can we use them correctly. First of all, for the listening and discussion here. Look at the picture here. What do you think is this? It's an advertisement. It's an advertisement of a product here, chocolate product. And also here we have uh, um, something written on a board, which is up to 50% sell. So all of them are advertisements for products. Some companies use these pictures or advertise their products. So why do you think they advertise? What is the purpose of advertisements? Why do you think they use the advertisement? To make people buy things, to attract people. Uh, I'm sure if you see a truck uh, like this, okay, with this bar chocolate, I'm sure you will need, at that moment, you will need to eat something like this and you will write. Um, buy it and here something related to the size of that chocolate okay track size all right so this is to attract people to attract them to buy their products all right so this is the purpose of advertisements so our lesson today uh, will be about advertisements or two products you will listen to them and then we will make a discussion about these two products let's start the bmx 3000 sports car Introducing the new BMX 3000. Set yourself apart from the crowd with a car as modern and sophisticated as you are. The BMX 3000 has everything you ever dreamed of. Speed, beauty, power, and performance. But be prepared for the attention. Wherever you go, people will watch and admire you and your BMX 3000. Wake up and get into the car of your dreams. Drive a BMX 3000 because you only live once. Alright, so this is about the first product, eBMX 3000 Sports Car. Sophisticated, it means something which has the taste of wealth or richness. Uh, a high class taste. High class taste. What about here? Admire. Watch and admire you. Admire it means love you, like you, right? This is the meaning of admire. The second product here is Floral Essence Shampoo. Floral Essence Shampoo. Put an end to dull, lifeless hair with Floral Essence Shampoo. Floral Essence contains 28 vitamins and minerals, so your hair will shine with health. Studies show that Floral Essence's exclusive new formula makes your hair twice as strong while protecting your hair against the harmful effects of wind and sun. Use Floral Essence Shampoo for strong and healthy hair. All right, so here we have two words, exclusive. A uh, new formula makes your hair. Essence's exclusive new formula. Ex exclusive, it means something which is special, special for you, okay? Formula means a combination of ingredients, okay? Um, what are the ingredients that this shampoo okay, consists of, all right? So this is the meaning of formula. Now here we have to use these four words, okay, in the correct sentences. Complete each sentence with a word from the box. Many advertisements have athletes and famous TV personalities in them. Featuring these stars helps companies sell their products because so many people them. So what do you think, right, the correct answer here? 
Um, here we have the um, celebrities, uh, famous people. Most of those famous people and celebrities have fans for them. So why? Because they like them. So the correct answer is admire. So many people admire them. Number two, the airline is having an sell only for their best customers. Uh, I was hoping to get invited to use the discounts, but I didn't. So here, what's the correct answer? Airline is having an what sell? Only, from the word is only for their best customers. It means something which is special, right? So the correct answer here is, or the correct word is exclusive, exclusive, right? Number three, the Upper East Side of Manhattan is a very place. Why? Because it seems like everyone there is rich and has high class taste. So what's the correct answer from the high class taste? It's sophisticated, sophisticated. Number four, some laundry detergents have a special that is designed to get stains out of clothes without ruining the material. They have many different ingredients in them. Ingredients, from the word ingredients here, we know the correct answer is formula, okay? The formula, right? These are the words related to the listening part. Now, let's move to the grammar. The grammatical structure today is about adverb clauses. It's a dependent clause and begins with an adverb and is always linked to an independent clause. What's that mean? For example, look at the sentence here. Because the shoes were on sale, I bought two pairs. This is the independent clause. I bought two pairs. And here we have the shoes were on sale. Adverb clause because. Well, here I use the adverb because to link this clause with the other one. Okay. Number two. Don't buy that dress unless you really need it. The independent clause is did don't buy that dress the adverb clause is you really need it okay we link them using unless and you have to be careful when we start the sentence with adverb clause we have to use comma after it to link the other clause and if we start this sentence with independent clause, okay, we don't need to use comma because we will start our sentence with the adverb, okay? So this is the right um, so thing that you have to be careful, okay, about it. Now, let's move to the four categories that the adverb clauses give information about. Adverb clauses can give information about reasons, purpose, conditions, and place. And for each category, there are different adverbs that we need or specific adverb that we have to use with them. Let's um, explain them separately. First of all, the adverb clauses that give information about reasons. What are the adverbs here? Because, because of, since, now, that. Okay, if we see these adverbs in the sentence, we will know, okay, that the, inf the information here is about reasons. For example, they closed the store early since there were no customers. Here the store is closed, okay? Why? Because there were no customers. There were no customers. This is the adverb close. The bold sentence here is an adverb close. Number two. They went to the mall because of the sale. Why did they went to the mall? Because of the sale. Okay, the sale here is the adverb close. It started with because of. But we have to be careful about because of. If we use it, the sentence or the word after this adverb should be a noun or noun phrase. Now, this is okay about the reasons. What about the second information? Purpose. Purpose here, we use in order, in order to, so, or, so that, okay? To give information about purpose. For example, 
Advertisements use many techniques in order to convince people to buy products. Number two, I left my wallet at home so that I wouldn't be tempted to buy anything. All right. So here there is a purpose. So advertisements use many techniques in order to convince people to buy products. If we use and in order to, we have to use the base form of the verb in order to convince, in order to go, in order to write, in order to swim, in order to um, start. So the in order to is followed by the base form of the verb directly, okay? What about clauses with so that, like this sentence, I left my wallet at home so that I wouldn't be tempted to buy anything. Clauses with so that usually include a model. The third information is about conditions. The adverbs that we use them are if, even if, in case, only if, unless. To give the information about conditions, the states, right? Look at the, sen the first sentence. I'll write down my phone number in case you need it. So here we have the adverbal clause in case you need it. Number two. We won't go to the picnic if it rains. We won't go to the picnic if it rains. We're going to the picnic even if it rains. Okay, these two sentences with adverb clauses uh, for the purpose of or for the information to give information about condition. We use if in the first sentence and even if in the second sentence, but the, the meaning is different. If we use if, it means that the condition affects the result. The condition here is the raining, it rains. It means it affects the result. The result is that, okay, we will not go to the picnic, okay? If it rains, all right? But if we use even if, all right, the um, condition here doesn't affect means that we are going to the picnic even if it rains and use the present tense with an if clause even if it refers to the future time also the tense here you have to be careful about the tense should be in the present tense even if it refers to the future time okay the last part here or the last information is uh, about place for example we have where wherever everywhere uh, these are the adverbs that used in adverbal clause to give the information about place. For example, he buys something wherever he goes. The advertisements were placed everywhere you could imagine. Okay, wherever he goes is the adverb clause started with the adverb at wherever to give the information about the place. The second sentence here, everywhere you could imagine, it me it's an adverbal clause started with a uh, adverb everywhere. Okay, so this is about the place. So here we end up with the four categories for using the adverbal clause to give information about reasons, purpose, conditions, and place and here we have different adverbs for each category let's move to the evaluation here circle the correct adverb to complete each sentence they sold out of the new chips only if or because they weren't sell what do you think here we use only if or because because number two many people buy bottled water even if or so they can't drink the water from their tap so, right, if or because you want to go shopping, I'll go with you. Of course, if. Unless everywhere you go, there are things for sale. Something for place. Everywhere, okay? Let's move to the second evaluation here. Write an advertisement for each of the products below. Use an adverb close with one of the adverbs from the box in each, okay? You can use if, unless, everywhere, in order to, wherever. Here we have three products, ice cream, chips, and a car. What can we say? Uh, what do you think that we need to use if, or unless, or everywhere, in order to, wherever, okay? Of course, you can use what you want, all right? So try to write your own advertisements. Here we have... 
If you want big strawberry flower, you should try our strawberry plast, okay? So here we use F. As you'll see here, started the sentence with F here for that verb and we use comma. Number two, what about the chips? Go on, try them unless you are scared, you won't stop, okay? So here we use unless, okay? For the car, it goes everywhere you need to go. We end up with the guest of our lesson today. We learn today listening for specific information about advertisements of two products, okay? And an adverb clause that gives the information about four categories, reasons, purpose, conditions, and place. And here for reference, you can go over the box and the clipboard, uh, Google. And for more information on lesson, you can contact the websites and Twitter accounts and the number here. And thank you very much for your concern. Hope to see you, inshallah, next time. Ruining. Goodbye.